Hi, we have today with us Chiara Napione, data scientist at Comao. Chiara, can you describe Comao? Comao is a worldwide leader in delivering advanced industrial automation products and systems. Its portfolio includes technology and systems for electric, hybrid, and traditional vehicle manufacturing, industrial robots, collaborative and wearable robotics, autonomous logistics, dedicated machining centers, and interconnected digital services and products able to transmit, elaborate, and analyze machine and process data. Thanks. What was the objective of your innovative project? Our objective was to monitor machineries and we were looking for the possibility to deploy machine learning models on embedded devices. This is really useful for various reasons, like the possibility to extract meaningful information from data that would otherwise be inaccessible due to bandwidth constraints, or avoid the cost of transmission data over a network, the cost of storage and processing in the cloud, or also avoid the risk of lack of connection that results in loss of data. We needed an affordable and reliable hardware for the development of our IoT application because without accurate, precise and reliable sensors, the data is worthless. Very good. And can you describe a bit more the platform and the process of usage it? Our IoT application tries to identify components anomalies that can cause faults based on the data coming from the sensors on the board. In a first phase, data acquired from the board are sent to an edge node and then to the platform on the cloud. Here, a machine learning model is trained and then it is downloaded and embedded in the board, which runs the evaluation phase. The Arduino acquires data from the inertial sensors and it executes the model thanks to the tiny ML library. Besides, it can transmit information via BLE, Wi-Fi, or GSM. And last, but still very important, we can update the firmware over the air in a second mode. Why you choose Arduino? Which product of Arduino you choose? We are currently using the Nano 33 BLE sensor. This is equipped with various embedded sensors like a nine axis IMU, the temperature and humidity sensor, the microphone, the gesture recognition, and so on. We choose it because it has a more powerful processor and a reduced dimension. And then we are using the Portenta H7, which is a board with a dual core processor with the advantage of supporting different programming languages like MicroPython or JavaScript. Thanks, Chiara. And which benefit uh, for you and for your customers you got from this? A strong point of Arduino is the availability of a great user community that is very helpful while programming. Then we also selected Arduino because of the possibility of using the tiny ML library. Obviously, it is a plug and play solution able to monitor any type of equipment where we can mount this small board. And another benefit for our customers is the solution that, as I have already said, it is built with an affordable and reliable hardware. Besides, they can benefit from the device management and the availability of the update of the firmware over the air. That's very exciting and interesting. Thank you very much, Chiara. Thank you.